is Dilson Hernandez and I'm from a new black arts movement. CASA is an org here in the BX that specifically wants to tackle gentrification and the displacement of low-income families here in the Bronx. So there were plenty of tenant associations getting together, speaking through their own personal ex experiences regarding landlords hiring rent for them or finding out different ways to try to get them out of their apartments so they could rise up the prices and have someone else live in their shoes. So you should know that before I was a senator, I was an organizer. And now that I'm a senator, I'm still an organizer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Y yo reconozco que para cambiar política pública, I recognize that to change public policy, to get people to change their minds about public policy, there's two things that you can do. Hay dos cosas para conseguir que alguien cambie su parecer en política pública, dos cosas que se pueden hacer. You can turn on the light or turn up the heat. Esas son las dos cosas que se pueden hacer. O se prende la luz, ¿verdad? Or se sube el calor. Number one, we have got to seriously advocate in front of the rent guidelines board to make sure that we can not only fight for another rent freeze, but also continue to fight for a rent rollback. That's it. Yes. Yes. Rent rollback. I'm State Assembly Member Victor Pichardo. I represent the 86th Assembly District in the West Bronx. You have to make sure that you hold all these elected officials accountable, from myself to the senator and everybody else. So when tenants need your help, when tenants need their elected officials to stand up for them, you hold them accountable. It was nice for different elected officials to be there, but ultimately, I'm a firm believer of the power rests within the people. So it's more than just an elected politician saying what he or she has to say. It's more so what are we gonna do as a united people to bring the change that we want in this community. As long as the streets are ours, and the ruins they grow, home is casa, casa is home. The poem was me basically honoring casa. A new black arts movement every month or so, we have our soul sessions or community universities where we explore different themes for the community. And casa housed us, they give us the opportunity to host our event at their space. So in, in, in honor of that, I wrote that poem for them and the poem was basically like, thank you for the fight that you guys do. They say home is where the heart is. Well, as an artist, I feed from the carnage. This canvas is a homage to burnt buildings and landlords who do damage, and foreigners that stare from a distance like the stars and the planets, then unpack their bags on our barrios. Prices go up and businesses take advantage, but as long as the streets are ours, are ours and the ruins they grow, home is casa, casa is home. Some, just some, with a fair skin tone, dare I say, um, investments and big loans most likely, most likely suffer from Christopher Columbus syndrome. Mm. Mm. They roam in ships like Caesar, conquering our bodega stores and have the nerve to leave negative Yelp reviews about the cat sleeping by the door. Wow. Not knowing me, Sue, is family. Not knowing we are a family in this community. Behold, attack of the clones. Your fight is Jedi mind tricks, spreading knowledge as you skywalk our people to free dome. So, We'll never lose faith. Mm. When tailors like you thread our diverse cultures back into its original form, perfectly sewn, so as long as these streets are ours and the ruins they grow, home is casa, casa is home.